against China coming up to start this VNL campaign for both these sides. Last time they met on the VNL in that bronze medal final over in China, which ended in defeat in five sets for this Brazilian team. They'll be hoping for something a little different in front of the home crowd today. So some interesting decisions for both coaches down there on the floor and relatively new lineups out there to take each other on. The new era for Brazil versus China. And we're ready to go with set one. Oh, great start. Well, a little bit of back and forth in that opener, but to Yang Han Yu with a murderous kill in the end. And uh, the man watching on, Coach An, the assistant coach to Lang Ping, put a fair few of these middle shots away in his time. One love China in this race to 25 points in each of the first four sets. If we do go to two sets all in this race to three, then the final set will be played to 15 points. But we're a long way away from that yet. Two good middle offenses to open up, one each side. One apiece. Gabby serves. Brazilian captain, newly installed in that position. Brutal rally follows in point three. And it's so often the case between two teams that know each other so well. You just know your positioning in the backcourt. You know where you want to stack your block. And it prolongs the point. But unfortunately for China, Du Ching Ching with the miss. <laughs> Lair didn't know much about that. A spike left-handed down the line. And a quick apology from the Chinese captain, Chung, to the Brazilian libero, just to make sure she's OK. No harm intended. Two all. Excellent start to this match, although that wasn't so clever. Um, Yang Han Yu, 20-year-old middle blocker from the Shandong province. with the service and a good one as well good jump float serve from the middle blocker it's only the role it's the only role that the middle players play during their time across the, those three rotation positions on the back line to serve and come on and defend for one point then once that point is over they'll be replaced by the libero the decent serve but well passed and a fine attacking shot, Hu Mingyuan gets herself on the scoreboard. Fascinating debut from uh, Hu last year. Clearly still a very raw player. But Lang Ping believes that there's just something about her. And certainly this year, looks a lot more aware on court. Another serve from the Chinese captain and another fine kill. And that's going to be key to Brazil's performance today. Both Amanda and Gabby have to keep firing away through position four in that wing spiker position. And if they can keep putting the ball away, then that'll just take pressure off other areas of the game. Overpass, well patrolled by Anna Beatrice, but over it comes again. And China win a very cheeky point. Well, Brazil thought they had that. They started the celebrations as well. But China never say die. A couple of very smart defensive moves there to keep that in play. And then a really nice one-on-one -on -one block followed by a spike from the setter, Zhao. Good tip. Running the slide D, Anna Beatrice. Realised she couldn't hit that ball flat out. 
just has the presence of mind to tip it down in front of Lin Li, who's still got a hand on it. There's not much that the Chinese libero won't get to. First serve for Amanda. We didn't get to see her pre-serve routine. But we might get to see it again here. Might come back. No. Well, valiant attempt in defence, but both Jiao and Lin in the end giving up the chase. It's that crouching, stumbling start from Amanda. Tip, easily read. And another tip. This time picks up the point, courtesy of a net touch. Chinese players looking at the referee to confirm who, who it was. Referee doesn't necessarily have to say who touched the net. If they spotted it, they spotted it. But in fact, it looks like it might have been Hugh putting her foot across the line. Yep, that's what it was. The line is out of bounds, the net's out of bounds, but for the line to be a fault, the whole of the foot has to be over, and it was. So, good spot from the second official. And a very good start to this 67th world stage encounter between Brazil and China. First technical timeout arrives then, Brazil with the advantage. taking uh, a bit of a, a back seat at the moment one of the former national squad players now in a coaching role with China taking over back to that Amanda serve it's that little stumble forward gets you every time and Brazil this time get to play on off the block <laughs> and Gabby didn't know what to do there, completely caught out in mid-air. And when you're in the air, you can't change what you're doing. You're stuck, there's nothing to push off from, so just ends up waving her hands in front of a diving layer. Hugh with another serve, three points the deficit. That's just long. Don't think China are going to challenge this one. Two challenges per set. If the challenge is correct, you keep it. If the challenge is wrong, you lose it. And a very welcome addition to the sport of volleyball since 2016. Works really well. Good pick up. Great defence from Amanda. And again, two in a row from her. Jar finally gets her hands on the ball. Oh, stunning rally. Three fantastic pieces of defence, followed by a monster block from China. And Amanda it was that kept that ball flying. But Brazil just couldn't put it away. Gabby gave it everything. And what a stop from Zhao. And the tall Chinese setter punching above her weight right now. Another point chance for China. And this time it's Brazil that come up with the block. Duan Fang, the wing spiker from Liao Ning, trying to beat the hands, but suffers the same outcome as Gabby on the last rally. Macris with a great stop, the setter involved for Brazil. Yeah, superb. Absolutely superb. Opposite player and middle blocker lining up really nicely next to each other. And at the moment, no way through for China. And that lack of experience in this particular group of Chinese players just showing through at the moment here. Super stop from Mara. Paula on the opposite position, lining up really nicely. Timeout. 
called by China. Ela pode ficar com a China, mas essa número 4, ela bate mais pela frente. Então vamos apertar. E sai o passo para lá, ela não consegue chegar. Olha aqui. So China with one timeout called. They've got one left to take, two timeouts per set, plus those two enforced technical timeouts at eight and 16 points. Where the game is stopped basically by the rules, by the officials. And that separates each set into three very distinct parts. And in the middle phase, Brazil playing well. What a hit from Gabby. Massive concerns after the 2016 games when she needed knee surgery. A lot of people feeling that might be it. But recovered, came back and played some of the VNL last year and is even stronger now. Gabby looking like the player she was. Double quick from China. Well read. And super quick offense outside from Brazil. And this is really smooth from this Brazilian squad. That's a super read from Gabby to get the initial stop. Good recovery from Jao, but the free ball comes back with interest. Quick out wide. And uh, easy routine put away, dare I say it, for Gabby. What a lead for Brazil. Changes made by China. A real surprise to see that mixed up. Liu Yanhan comes in to the action. Well, terrific defense initially from China, but once it's come off the arms at speed, that's when you get a bit of a lottery within a rally. They just bounce straight back to the Brazilian players for Mara to finish. Seven point lead, Gabi to serve. Dear me, and China at sixes and sevens at the moment. They are all over the place and their whole game is based on controlling the volleyball. For the middle phase of this set, they've had no control. 15-7 Brazil. It's up. Great defense from Brazil. Super response. And that link from Jao to Yang is going to be key in the middle. Just off the fingertips, and then Gabby with the sliding pickup. But all finished very nicely by Jiao and Yang on that A quick. Oh, that is just huge from Mara. What a spike. And it's super spike time for the Brazilian middle. Comes back with interest. Such a great range of shot, Mara. Must be a dream to set to. She has pounded that. So middle phase of that set going to Brazil. Next technical timeout arrives. <laughs> Well, many of these Chinese players have been around long enough to understand that there is a, a rhythm to volleyball, there's an ebb and flow. And they just have to wait to get themselves into this match. They'll be hoping that Brazil haven't hit the kind of form that they can sometimes demonstrate where they just destroy other teams. Looking good so far for the home side. Eight points the advantage.
And there we go. It'll be a trice with the heavy shoulder strapping. I would say that this little swing there would indicate that the shoulder is certainly causing a concern. Common problem for volleyball players can be those rotator cuffs. Once you have problems with those, that can be a real issue. In off the wing, beautiful hit. And, uh, Anapala had to work really hard for this. Good footwork to get ready for the hit. The set uh, didn't quite come all the way. So watch it come in along that net and then just find a way to hit it back down the line. Just turns the thumb down to hit on the inside of the ball. Anapala enjoyed that one, I think it's fair to say. Classic Brazilian volleyball in set one, and uh, Coach Ann is forced to call his second time out for China. As calm as you like. Well, he's had his moments over the years. The loss in the 2016 Olympics before the medal phases. I think probably one of the toughest moments of many of the Brazilian players and coaching staff's career. That's behind them now. Tokyo is on the horizon. Wonderful. First pipe attack we've seen in the game and the pipe attack invented by the Brazilian men's team back in the 90s, now being widely used as part of the women's offense. In Joe, back at the service line. Good pass from Gabby. Paula, that is something else. Well, they've been waiting for a player to come in and take over from the likes of Jackie and Shayla. And I think in Paula certainly got a player with the potential to do just that the 25 year old one meter 87 but got a decent jump a very heavy hit double substitution made so we've got for Brazil new setter on court Roberto will run the three backline positions and in the front court Lorena 23 year old replacement opposite standard substitution at this level so try to keep as many tall players in the front court for as long as you can but China respond got to find nine points though in this opener and that just is not going to happen if Brazil keep playing volleyball like this wonderful ball control beautiful pipe set and Gabby showing everybody how you run this one free net wonderful set from Roberta back to Amanda serve nicely done really tight to the net but a very good set wide allows Liu Yanhan to get in for the kill one on one the blocker not balanced. There was only ever going to be one winner there, and it was Liu. Liu with the serve. Nine points, still the advantage to Brazil, and that just gives them a little bit of leeway to showboat. And the Beatrice just runs some incredible angles, incredible lines. It's this wonderful knack of finding where she needs to hit the ball. All done, of course, in a split second. Beatrice back to serve, so very impressive. Mara comes back to the front line. There's an attempt at the defensive play from Amanda, but a nice kill from Liu. Into that jump, 
that's a huge hit to go past Mara. Superb. I'm going to run out of uh, superlatives at this rate. Very impressed with Leia. Looks so comfortable on court and doing what you want your libero to do. Dominate on the pass. And take every opportunity to play that ball so the hitters can be freed up to be hitters. The rain is to serve. Crowd demanding an ace on the cards. Doesn't come, but it could still be another point. It is via Gabby. And the Brazilian captain is having a fine first set. Once again, Leia involved in the action. First attack stopped. Second attack off Amanda's bump set, good. Two points required for Brazil to storm into a one set to love lead. And that's just about the first thing we've seen Brazil do wrong. Substitute to uh, Mayani on for the serve. Slide D from Mara, not put away. <laughs> oh, amazing. What a bizarre point. Well, decent kill from China. Didn't get too involved with what was going on on the other side of the net. But look at that. What a play. Falling back from the net, Mara just guides it towards Leia. And it was a free ball to China, and they fizzed it back for the point. Over on two, well defended by the opposite setter, Jao. And again, China getting used to some of these Brazilian plays. But again, the ball control letting them down. And interesting to see uh, Roberto Gamares sticking with his substitution. So since he's made the double change, it doesn't look like he wants to uh, reverse it. Now, who's coming off? Number six waiting on the sideline, Julia B. 18-year-old wing spiker. And uh, in she comes. For the outside hitter, Amanda. Nicely done by China. One set point saved. Just the other nine to go to get back on level terms. Bu Ching Ching with the first decent put away of the game. The number 23. Brazil for the set. And the thoroughly impressive Mara gets a thoroughly impressive kill to get the job done. What a start to the VNL for Brazil here on home soil. And a lot of thinking to be done for China in the break. 25-15, that is an absolute thrashing in set one. And for China, some serious concerns. Brazil, though, are flying.
cracking look back at a thoroughly entertaining first set and there's one of the key players in uh, that Brazilian performance Mara Ferreira Leal little blocker from the Minas Tennis Club 27 years of age now so has had to rather wait in the wings for some of her illustrious compatriots to move aside to allow her through to take over in that middle blocking position and what an opening set from her Spikes at 3 metres 20, so 20 centimetres higher than a basketball ring. Blocks at over 3 metres as well. And really doing a great job for Brazil down there on court. For China, plenty to think about. Not many options in terms of what they can do to change things around. Coach uh, An Jiaji, the assistant coach to the legend Jenny Langping, knows exactly that. He's going to have to pretty much stick with what he's got just hope that either Brazil go off the boil or his own team start to find a way into this match well that looks like one potential substitution number seven Wang Yuan Yuan 21 year old from the Tianjin province so looks like she's on the sidelines ready to take her place when the rotation gets round to front court at the moment she is off on the bench for the libero Lee Lin Lee and Macris the setter and playmaker for Brazil keeps her place on court very good Macris in that opening set the 30 year old playmaker trying to put the first point on the board they will not stop trying they will not stop playing hard and they certainly won't stop enjoying and celebrating points when they win one swing from the left-handed skipper first bit of action then for Wang the number seven she is on at the new middle blocker and two points in a row for captain Chung Wang Yuan Yuan, one of the taller players in the Chinese team. The number seven stands 1 meter 95. And continues a very strong tradition within the Chinese setup of turning out these phenomenal middle players. Well, it might be a debate after this point because that looked like a double touch. It's gone China's way, and Brazil will not be happy about this big momentum swing at the start of the second set back in favor of China Amanda on the pipe missing by centimeters three love China <laughs> it just makes you smile watching Gabby play her career could have ended a couple of seasons ago but she's out there and flying and she's got such a huge arm swing. It's a real spectacle to watch her in full flight. Great shot, straight down the middle of the court. Very well spotted from uh, Liu Yanhan. Start the match, but brought in by Anne midway through the first set when things started to go a little bit pear shaped. Leia is passing like a dream. The libero for Brazil. Used to know an international setter who said a good pass coming in like that was just like setting a pillow full of feathers drifting on the air. And that's the kind of pass that Leia is giving to her setter at the moment. Chris can do what she wants with the ball. China, on the other hand, are still struggling in service receive. And China's turn to run the pipe. And their star performer at the moment is Liu. Every bit as good as Gabby. Nice feed from Jiap. Exactly what uh, the option was. The Brazilian blockers caught flat-footed there. 
rapid offense by China. 5 2 the advantage. Du Chin Ching to serve. Wonderful hit off a wonderful set. Let's never forget that as good as a hitter is, they are generally only good because the pass was excellent and the set was just priceless. Beautiful. The serve, however, not so good. Harlow with the mistake. Once again, Anna Beatrice runs the D, sliding around the back of the setter, sees exactly what is open on court, just tips it in between four players. He still couldn't get a hand on it. That's better. Let's not forget what a good setter Jialin Yu is with the ball on her head. Jiangsu Province playmaker. Chinese still playing all their volleyball within provincial setups. Sport very much dominated by the provincial development sector, whereas over in Brazil, what about the franchise teams, the big franchise teams. Another huge kill from the Brazilian captain Gabby. Superb to watch. Super spike from the Brazilian skipper. Mara's in the house in front court. Good recycle from China. Gabby just has to go off pace. Well, she's done enough. Off the block and out. Will China have a challenge here just to see if this hit the line? How about this off the net? That's uh, pretty special from China. They do not let a ball go without a fight. And then here's the winning shot off the block and out. Not quite connecting uh, at the moment. Brazil get another point courtesy of the double touch from Yang Han Yu. But Macris to Gabi on that flat, fast ball just isn't quite working. Nitpicking, really, though, isn't it? They're back on level terms. They look fantastic down there, the home side. But with a few tweaks, they would be away and clear again. China in there and battling second set after being demolished in set one. Beatrice to serve. Good touch, slow down block from Mara. Gabby in off her wing to tip. And just beaten Amanda. By the ball deflecting off the block. 8 7, first technical timeout arrives. The first time in a while, China have their noses in front at a technical timeout. Just unlucky there with the deflection, Amanda. But Brazil will feel they've recovered the situation somewhat. <laughs> So it's a bit of a, a silly statement to say that this match has got the potential to go to five sets because technically every match has, but there's so much talent on both sides of the net that they could end up cancelling each other out here. Certainly showing enough in set two to suggest that they can compete in this one, which didn't look to be the case 
in the opener. Liu to serve. Oh, just for good measure, McCreese goes one-handed on the reverse. And that is proper exhibition stuff. Look at this. Set of the day by a long way. It is McCreese to serve, so three good rotations to come for Brazil. Good pick up from Leia. And a super finish. No, it's still in play. It has gone to Brazil. Four touches. So just as that ball was defended, it deflected off a player on its way to the next touch. And it all counts as a touch. But how about that down the line? That's pickup of the day from Leia. And there's that little deflection that counts as the extra touch. Only three touches allowed. Double quick again. Brazil read again. USA men invented that play. A quick in front of the setter, C quick behind. The double quick, but Brazil reading it all the way from China and then applying the finishing touch by the ever-reliable Gabby. The Brazilian number 10 having a dream match at the moment. Five points to her. Mara with six. And a Beatrice with a very handy four through the middle. And Leia with another pickup. But this time, out of play. Fault on the net by the looks of it from Brazil. No, nope. step over the line once more. Seen quite a lot of that these days. I think players so keen to move once they land. They don't put their foot anywhere to get the push off. Another great pass. But this time, Gabby stopped. Funny how players start to learn the flow of the game. So the Chinese players just read this. They knew this was going to Gabby on the reverse. And that kind of puts this next set under pressure, even if it's a good pass. Oh, dear. Well, that's a shame. China with a chance there to maybe nick a couple of points, but Yang with the missed serve. The game has settled into a really nice side-out rhythm now. Both teams controlling the volleyball well, running a whole range of tempos on their attack. This one a first tempo to the middle attacker. If the setter goes past the middle attacker and wide, then that becomes a second tempo. Good pick up. John can't put it away though, so this will go wide again. Just overusing Gabby a little bit at the moment, McCreese. Oh, Leia, she's there again. And again. This time though, McCreese gets the pick up. And the put away by Parler is superb. Brilliant rally. Lin Lee showing. How you do it initially, wonderful work from the Chinese libero, and then Leia, full flight. Followed by a superb read from Macris, and then the finishing touch applied by Paula. Three classic pickups in one rally, followed by one heck of a spike. And that counts as a mega rally in anyone's book. Mara to serve. Parler can't put it away this time. So the other opposite spiker has a go. Chung can't kill it. Coming back, and it's coming back with interest. Madness. 
from that far off the net to be able to put the ball in a hittable position for Du Ching Ching. That's what the hours of practice are for. Do back to the service line. A serve. First clean ace of the game. And what a time for China to deliver, keeping the pressure on the home side. And after that explosive first set from Brazil, China competing in the second. Not the most convincing spike from Anna Beatrice, but as I said, she finds these angles. Just makes it work this time down the front of Jars. Block not penetrating at the net, the Chinese setter. Paola with an ace. Touched ace this time from the number five for Brazil. Well, like Mara, very impressive. Has had a good game. And a good pick up from the tall opposite player. Nicely recycled. Bumped by Leia wide to Amanda. Oh, it's too good. And as Brazil went out of system, so lost control of the ball, they still had players running. Three players running on that broken attack there. And eventually the feed goes from Macris to Paola. And the rest, as they say, is history. 15-13, just like that. Brazil open up a two-point cushion. Superb. Lovely set. Just dragged the block apart there. And the taller the middle blockers, the more you need to try and move them fast and laterally. Tall middle players don't like to move sideways quickly. And that's what the setters are doing very well in this game, pinning the middle blockers. Wang with the serve. Good pass again from Leia. Oh, that's a shame. Because that was so good. Up until the point that Anna Beatrice just tipped it out of the court. Up, just extended, couldn't control the hand. Well, they're getting a lot of joy now. And rather than run that traditional reverse ball, because Anna Beatrice is running around the back of the setter, the opposite player, Paula, is coming in and hitting something quite a long way inside. On that backcourt shot, very impressive to watch. Roberto de Maris, heading up this women's programme, but came through the whole coaching system with men's coach Bernardino. Tremendously dedicated coaching staff at Brazil. Nice chance to see how some of those sets work, how they pin the blockers by deceiving them. Or just playing the ball too quickly for them to get there, but that wasn't quick enough. Little gamble on that one from Gabby. Watch her gamble here. Commit block, and it's hers all the way. Very nice shift block from Brazil. Well worked. Now the Brazilian coaches, the kind of people that you can go up and ask them a question.
question or ask for an interview and if they can't do it right then they'll come and find you later and say right time for the interview they're very open about how they work with the teams but boy have they turned out some sensational squads over the years in both divisions another cracking rally brewing oh ho, ho, this is genius <laughs> I knew we'd see it at some point. A bit of football here in Brasilia, but Brazil can't win the point. We saw some stunning footwork from the Brazilian team at last year's VNL finals, didn't we? We've seen it again here from Gabby. And a second mega rally for this set. And that's why. Lovely bit of footwork. China able to run the play straight off it. A nice hammer once again applied. Liu is looking the real deal out in that wing spiking position. And China have recovered the situation just to point down now. Oh my goodness, the pipe attack through that particular zone so it's not coming through zone six and it's not coming through zone one it's about between the two one and a half six and a half i guess you call it well, beatrice 18 16 brazil in this race to 25. well recycled Paula. Oh, she's absolutely gone for that, but wailed it out of bounds. And this is how confident the Brazilian players are right now. She felt she could not only make that inside to out shot, but she could make it at full power. Not quite. Good pass again. No connection through the middle, so it's supposed to come back. And there's an old saying in volleyball, you can't win the point from the floor, so you shouldn't try. It's a wonderful pickup, but then Liu tries to win it and misses the court completely. McCree serves. Good lineup in the front court for Brazil for three rotations now. China, though, beat that with captain Zhang Tianlei. shot from the left-hander get some weird and wonderful angles the lefties oh brilliant blocking and you're just getting this feeling now that these blockers are starting to read the game they're learning and that is superb movement from one of the tallest of the Chinese players Wang came on as a substitute set it's more than justified her place time out Brazil just as Roberto Gamares thought his team were getting away Want to talk very briefly to Coach Ann in Switzerland at the Montreux Volley Masters last weekend. He's a tall man, actually, but saying how much he was enjoying being part of the whole coaching setup under Coach Lang Ping. Enjoying his responsibility over in Europe and looking forward to the VNL once again. Although ideally, from a Chinese point of view, they'd like to take the gold when they host in Nanjing in July. Another Brazilian point. Another shot by Gabby to beat the block of Wang. 2019, Gabby back to the line. Overpass. I'm surprised to see Mara didn't go for that. 
but it was the right decision. Just took the ball nice and calmly, delivered it to Macris, who ran the quick on the reverse to Paola. Full extension, nobody in this Chinese team is going to get close to her. Brilliant kill, super spike from Paola. And the two-point margin restored. Coach An immediately calls the timeout for China. A Mexican wave in Brasilia. Excellent contingents of Chinese fans in to watch this one. Talking to a Chinese camera crew a few years ago about the fact that China being so dominant in table tennis had actually spoilt the enjoyment for some of the fans. So they really enjoy watching the contests that the Chinese women's volleyball team go through because they have to battle for the things they win. And what a battle it was in Rio to claim that gold medal. Good shot to get them back in this one. Nice comeback off the timeout. And another solid hit from Amanda. Very similar spiker actually to Gabby. Manages to fashion all sorts of kills from quite tricky situations. That block was reasonably well formed, but got the ricochet out of court, got the point. 22-20, Mara to serve. Lovely dig from Gabby. And another overpass, fake hit from Anna Beatrice. Back to Anna Paula. And it's pretty much a carbon copy of that last attack. Really good defensive work on both sides of the net for the final shot. And just when it matters in the business end of this second set, Brazil come to life. Poor pass from Lim, but a great serve from Mara. And a Beatrice goes on the reverse to Amanda. Got a piece of the Chinese block. And it's four set points for a two sets to love lead for the home side. Just a touch on the fingernails of Jar. No protest, no challenge from China. And the last time out called by coach An Jiaji. Não é essa sete. É, ela tem que abrir um pouco para ir para a China. Se ela puxar meio fechado, bem perto da levantadora, ela não consegue abrir. Então fica no tempo atrás. Well, even if you don't speak the language, we do try and let the coaches speak in timeouts. It's always fascinating to see the body language. Interesting to see which players they are addressing their comments to. And also interesting to see the range of emotions that a coach goes through during the course of a match. Four set points, Brazil. They're not going to do it on an ace from Mara. They're going to have to do it on either an attack or an error from China. Who's up to the service line? Well, Du Ching Ching served pretty well in this game so far. But three points required off her serve just to get level. Brazilian fans get involved. Oh, shot. And you must have heard that on the courtside mics. That was absolutely ripped down the line by Paula. Well, that's the way to manage a set, especially when your opponents have come to life. And that is certainly the way to put a set into the bank. 
Great finishing power from Brazil. Great finishing power from Paula. And Brazil move into a very handy two sets to love lead. Well, once again, a little look back at some of the highlights from what was a super set. Good was that set. Wonderful stuff. And there's one of the stars of the moment for Brazil. Harla, 25 years of age. And, uh, if you're going to have a name like Ana Paula Borgo Badani de Cruz, you must be a great player. And she certainly is. Has stepped up very nicely into this opposite role. And a lot of fantastic players have played there for this Brazilian women's team down the years. Paula, the latest incumbent, and what a job she is doing. Not the only star out there, though. Already featured Mara through the middle. She's playing well, but I said Amanda and Gabby have to deliver in the wing spiker position, and boy, have they delivered. Kill after kill after kill, and on top of that, wonderful ball control on the service reception. And when you couple that up with the performance from the libero, Leia, in both pass and defence. In Brazil, at the moment, the complete package, and China are finding it just impossible to break them down. Every time it looks like they've got on level terms, and back come Brazil, harder and stronger. T-shirt gun out to keep the fans happy. Firing a few freebies into the crowd. If you've never watched volleyball in Brazil, then uh, it really is an experience that you should try and get to if you can. Brazilian fans, something else. Well, we're in the 16,500-seater arena we're in Brasilia, the Nilsson Nelson Gymnasium. And the home fans being treated to a cracker of a performance so far. Calm as you like. Coach Anne goes back to work. It's all about the bigger picture. Lang Ping is absolutely determined that the players and the coaching staff never forget that. It's about the next big thing. And that's why China seemed to have this uh, knack, this ability of arriving at the major championships. Good to go. Bronze medal last year in the VNL to back up that fantastic Olympic gold medal in Rio. Then won the bronze medal at the 2018 World Championships for good measure. La Yuen, the uh, Player turned coach, just uh, talking to some of uh, the players. Olympic silver medalist herself back in 1996. Great shot, isn't it, from overhead? Just gives you an idea of 
where the players position themselves on court. A wonderful coaching device as well. Lots of coaches use the overhead shot to see where the players run. So we're good to go. 25-15, 25-21 gives Brazil a two sets to love lead. As we head into set three, China and Lu Qingqing to serve and get us underway. Brazil one set away from a very impressive result here in Brasilia. Oh, pick up there. And out off the block. Once again, this time, Paola. That is some pancake, as it's called. Sliding your hand along the floor, let the ball bounce off the back of the hand. Play on. Sounds so easy, doesn't it, from the commentary box? It isn't, I can tell you. That's tremendous from Lair. So we're back to that shootout feel, that trading of points in the early phase of the set. All top level teams will just accept this as a part of a game. And you can trade up to 24 all, and then if you win two points at 24 all, you've won the set. Consider the fact that Brazil went uh, down by some distance in the early phases of set two. Now, we're going to see a challenge here because Amanda completely convinced that she caught the fingers with this spike of the Chinese block and immediately turned round and started discussing confidently with her teammates the fact that she had done exactly that. So Brazil are going to use a challenge here just to get the referees to have a look and see whether one of those fingers did indeed move. And it's actually more distinct than you would think when you see a finger just bend back. But there is no touch there. Mighty close, but not mighty close enough. And Amanda will have to retract her previous confident statement that that definitely hit the fingers. Point China. Wang to serve. She's been a good addition to the Chinese lineup since the start of the match. The back of the first set. And no, in fact, came on at the start of the second. My apologies, and stayed on. That's finished. Chinese players discussing a potential challenge, but enough of them saying no, they think this was in. Mara with another vicious spike. Oh, she's properly hit that one. Power tip to the middle of the court. Good enough from Liu Yanhan. Uh, the score graphic will catch up in a moment. 3-2 though, China, after that tip. And a fine serve. Ace serve. Brazil starting set three as they started set two in a bit of disarray as China start to play hard. 4-2. Well, that's what you want to see from your wing spikers, the ability with a tight set to be able to get up and hit off the top of the block. On this occasion, it was a late arriving block in the form of Yang Han Yu. But Amanda doing the job for her team. Sends Paola back to the service line. Brazil trail by one in this third set. That's come right off the forehead of Anna Beatrice. Oh dear me. <laughs> well, Amanda was going to go for the blocker's fingers. The blockers unfortunately didn't present their hands as a target. She ended up just throwing this straight off court. Liu 
to serve. Keep you updated with the score as uh, we go. So off the blocker's hands and out, says Anna Beatrice and the referee. Chinese players say no, didn't touch us, so China have the option of a challenge. They're not going to take it, they accept that is Brazil's point, so that should bring it back to 5-4. It's Brazil with a very handy two sets. That's going to be Brazil's point as well. What was the Chinese captain Chung Lei thinking there? This ball was clearly in Brazilian airspace. Watch this, comes back up. Well, not only does she go into Brazilian airspace, but she's touched the net as well. There you go. A double whammy for the Chinese captain. Oh, and then gets blocked for good measure. And China in trouble now. If they weren't already. Monster block by the late arriving Anna Beatrice. Scoreboard back on track. Brazil moving to a 6-5 lead. Free ball, layer passes. Very impressed with this Brazilian performance. I think China have put them under as much pressure as they could. But you can only play against what's in front of you, and boy, have Brazil played hard. This is a crunching spike from Gabby cross court. In fact, the spike was from Amanda. My apologies. No, it was Gabby. There we go. Got there in the end. Amanda with the cumbersome serve. Real, trace, real, real um, case of don't try this at home, kids, with the Amanda serve, but it works for her. Miss on the reverse. Trying to claw a point back. Lovely pass. And that's part of the wing spiker's job. It's not just about being able to jump high and hit hard in that wing position. You've got to be able to pass the ball under pressure. And that's what Amanda's done, followed by her partner in crime in that wing spiking position, Gabby, applying the finishing touch. 8-6, Brazil, first technical timeout of set three. Still no real urgency from Ann. As I said, it's the bigger picture approach. No need to get too flustered about this situation. The team's playing reasonably well still. Brazil just playing better. Hmm. Great reaction. Some of those close-up cameras just tell the real story, don't they? Good slow down block. Easy read for Macris. And Paolo with the heavy hit picked up by Lin. China go again. It's tight. Oh, that is going to be another silly fault. I'm not sure what China think their case is here because that set was clearly for the middle player. And I thought it was pretty obvious that Wang interviewed with, uh, interfered with the set. 
So as it comes back, yeah. That set was going to Mara. And Wang reached over and touched the ball. And you're not allowed to do that. You have to allow the set or the setter to set the ball to their players. And those secondary rules that's developed in volleyball, along with the rotations and other things, other permutations. Good cross court swing, great pick up from the veteran Anna Beatrice. Trying to go again, another slow down block. Well, Steve Timmons, the legendary US opposite player, used to call it the silent assassin. But those slow down blocks, every time you touch an attacker's spike and you slow it down for your defenders, it doesn't appear on the stat sheet. But boy, is it effective in terms of controlling the opposition can apply the sort of spiking that Amanda and Gabby are applying at the moment to terminate the point. It's all good for Brazil. 10-6. Well up in this third set. China calling the timeout. It's an absolute joy, isn't it, watching two liberos at the top of their game. Oh, shank pass. New player on court for China, Zhang Xijin. The number 14 getting caught out on the service there. Dig. Beatrice is having an absolute blinder in the backcourt. Lin Lee with a great pickup as well. Gabby keeps it off the floor before Mara runs the slide D around the back. Both teams locked and loaded right now. High quality volleyball in this third set. Second set was very entertaining. And this one's right up there with it. And a Beatrice to serve. Zhang back on and Zhang back off. And it's the same again for the Chinese captain. Monster block. Who got all of it? It was all Gabby despite the celebrations of Mara. But every good middle blocker should try and claim every block. No, spinning off the hands and out this time. I think McCreese was the target. Yeah, just using and abusing the Brazilian setter there, not as tall as the other players. Reaches high, just one meter seventy eight tall, only blocks at two ninety two. Well covered. Free ball though, China should win this point. And they do over on two from Jialin Yu. Lovely pass from Lin. It just leaves the setter with all the options. No, con no connection in the middle again. And a net touch. So a little dip in form here for Brazil. Yeah, that was a long way away from the hands. So no pick up there. 13-9, China creeping back in.
Captain Jung waits patiently, but she's had a torrid time of it in this set. Mini float serve to Leia. That's not going to beat Leia in a month of Sundays. And uh, Leia comes up with another really solid pass. Can't emphasise enough how important it is for players to be able to play the ball just on top of the setter's head. And a clever kill from Gabby adds to her tally. Pace easily picked up by Amanda. Leia once again there to keep the ball flying. Parla tips. Oh, Messi from China. And as soon as Wang puts her arms out to this ball, she knows she's made a mistake. In fact, it was Jar, my apologies, that uh, puts her arms out to defend the ball. So, point back, but the damage has been done. And China are going to find it very, very difficult to extricate themselves from this rather unfortunate situation. Although, as I said before, China lost both of the prelim matches prelim pool match to Brazil in the VNL but when it really mattered in the bronze medal that's when they came to the party Ching into the net. Just see the crowd response growing with every pickup from Brazil in that rally. Every block. Second technical timeout arrives in set three, and it's looking very, very good indeed for the home side. Well, contributions all over from the various players. Date you after this time out. Chinese side of the net, Liu Yan Han with 10 points is their leading scorer. And then on the Brazilian side of the net, Gabby with 17, Paula with 12, and Mara with 9. That's been the three most influential players. Tip easily read by Macris. Chance here for Brazil. Chance taken. Paula goes off the block. That gives her 14 points for the match. Well, when the block is not well formed, it's so much easier to tool it, is the expression. Tool the ball off the block. Seven-point advantage, substitution made. Amanda comes out, Julia B comes in. Nice touch. Off the bench and into a blocking roll, but can't put the spike away. What China must be thinking right now. They will have seen part of the... Russia versus Dominican Republic game. They've 
you've only just joined us, Dominican Republic making history today, their first ever victory over Russia on the world stage. China will know that they've got the beating of both of those teams. But the concern here is they're going to come away from this match with zero points and allow Brazil to take a solid three. 3-0 three or 3-1 victory means three points. If it's a 3-2 win in five sets, then you can only take two points and your losing opponents will take one point. Then if you lose 3-0, 3-1, you come away with nothing. Overpass and out. The only positive that we can uh, try and address for China here is the fact that they are the hosts once again for the VNL finals in uh, Nanjing in July, so they are already qualified. A fair amount of experimentation can uh, occur under those circumstances. And they do have quite a few round robins to play in and around China. No time out China, but I think this situation now is irretrievable for them. Joy for the Brazilian players. Look at that jump from Gabby and then just rolls it down the line. Nineteen eleven. Decent spike. What we're looking at with regard to the Chinese team, it's not quite the B squad, but the majority of players here in Brasilia for China would normally make the court. In regulation anyway. Good block. Captain Zhang Chinlei making a contribution. So they've got uh, no Yuan Xinyue, they've got no Zhu Ting, they've got no Gang Xiang Yu, no Zhang Changjing, no Lie, Liu uh, Xiaoting. Big score in the VNL last year, Liu Xiaoting. And they've got no Yadi setting. So Quite a few players not on the Chinese roster here in Brasilia. Just resting after long seasons. Missed. Well, we've not seen Paola do much wrong today. With so many points in the bank, then the odd speculative shot is fine. She hit that really well. That's such a shame. Well, Maric decides it's time to just stop the game for a timeout. What a difference a couple of decades makes to how China play their volleyball. It used to be very much the coach talking, the players stood around and listening. But now it's a proactive timeout zone. And an ace serve follows the timeout by Brazil for Jiao and China. Just four points in it. Yeah, it's good. It's really good. It's super quick on that reverse. So McCrease just leans over and then fires it. And the range of shot that Paola has is going to beat most blocks with that kind of service. Plenty of substitutions. Five points left to win. 
the old familiar, I'm sure to most of you now, double. So in comes Roberta on the back line for Paola. on the front line to make sure that they've still got some firepower at the net is the woman that's just missed that block Number 24 Lorena Gerardo Tessiera plays her volleyball with the Rexona club in the top division in Brazil oh that's a thumping spike Well, I often used to say as a defender, really, the only thing you can do at this point is just go and check the court for scorch marks. <laughs> that was ripped. Timely kill. Oh, brilliant. Gabby somehow keeps that in play. But trying to come back strong. Two middle attacks in a row. Yang puts the second one away. Oh, superb. Chinese captain Chang Chin Lei has had a tough time in this game. Very nice to see her put away a shot like that. Now, China have reduced this gap to three. Just wonder if Brazil had one foot back in the hotel room there. Desperately important that they win a point soon, Brazil, if they want to take this in three. And there we go. On cue. Captain Fantastic delivers. Gabby with the kill down the line. And you can watch her play volleyball all day. So calm, so straight in the air, so controlled. So good. Certainly hasn't been the contact a contest that we were all expecting. But that's because Brazil haven't let it be a contest. They have dominated most of this match. Second set a little closer. But this one again in control from the mid phase onwards. Beautiful. Great look at the end on camera there the back part of the court so you can see the flow of play to the net you can see just how many problems that properly delivered pipe set can cause 22 19 brazil just need to tick the scoreboard over there's another step closer to the win from mara good high feed from roberta we're going to see our substitution reversed this is very Gamares, you know. He loves to stick to the technical routines. Substitution has done its job. And back in comes McCreese. Back in comes Paola. And now Brazil will try and get the job done with two serves here. But really, they don't need to win another point on their serve. They just need to kill the ball when China serve at them. Good dig from McCreese. Leia bumps it to Paula. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. That is just brilliant. And Leia has put on a masterclass today. She has not done a thing wrong in that blue shirt. Match point Brazil and plenty of them. Layer again straight on the setter's head. Gabby can't quite put it away. 
Another dig. Beautiful. Paula roofed. <laughs> she was smiling as she landed on the floor there because she knew she was taking a chance with that spike. Roberta Gamara is just reminding her immediately. She just hit with gay abandon here. Didn't even think about what she was doing. Just hammered it. And hammered it straight in the block. But still four match points to Brazil. One kill will do it. Oh, no. No, no, no. And that's the last thing Brazil need for Gabi to shank the ball. One match point saved, three to go. Good pass, Leia. Good kill from Gabi. And Roberto Gamarish's Brazil start their 2019 VNL campaign with a very impressive win against last year's bronze medalists. I'm not sure the expectations were that high for China with this particular lineup, but they have been humbled by this very new look Brazilian side. 25-15, 25-21.